Hello, and welcome to the online Hokey Focus event today, April 4th. My name is Emily Metzger, and I am an undergraduate academic advisor in the Kevin T. Crofton Department of Aerospace and Ocean Engineering. I'll be sharing my screen with you here to share a presentation about our department. As I said, I represent the Kevin T. Crofton Department of Aerospace and Ocean Engineering. We're so glad to talk to you today. If you have questions following this presentation, please feel free to join me in the engineering chat room, the AOE booth. I will be there from 940 to 1140 today, along with several students from the AOE department, and we are looking forward to answering your questions. I first want to welcome you on behalf of our dedicated faculty and staff here in aerospace and ocean engineering. Our faculty are involved not only in teaching, but also in cutting edge research, and we are excited to share a little bit more about what we do. First, I'd like to introduce you to some of our administrative and advising staff. Uh, Dr. Eric Patterson is our department head. And Dr. Bob Canfield is our Assistant Department Head for Ad Academic Affairs, and he works closely with our undergraduate population. I am one of two academic advisors in the department. Mr. Brian Kastner is our other academic advisor, and he and I both work with students in AOE, uh, primarily students who are in their sophomore through senior years in the department. So first, I want to get a little bit into what we do here in aerospace and ocean engineering. First of all, we're a little unique in that we have two majors within the same department. And you'll see that although aerospace and ocean engineering are certainly distinct, they also show, share many similarities in that they both deal with vehicles that are moving through fluids. So aerospace engineering, this is engineering that combines both aeronautics and astronautics. So aerospace engineers explore aeronautics, the science and engineering involved with manufacturing and designing air flight capable machines. And they also work with astronautics or the science and engineering involved with designing and manufacturing machines that can operate and move beyond Earth's atmosphere. Then our ocean engineers work with hydronautics and look at vehicles that can move through water. Ocean engineering has traditionally also been called naval architecture. So aerospace and ocean engineers, what do they do? Well, they do all, all sorts of things um, involving designing vehicles. They design vehicles such as piloted aircraft and crewed vehicles. They design ships, they design submarines. We also here in aerospace and ocean engineering design spacecraft and space launch vehicles. And we have several projects working on the design of remotely piloted or autonomous vehicles. So this is another area that aerospace and ocean engineers find themselves working in. We're lucky here in aerospace and ocean engineering to have some fantastic facilities for our faculty, staff, and students to work in. Our department is based in Randolph Hall, right here on the main Virginia Tech campus in Blacksburg. Attached to Randolph Hall is our state-of-the-art wind tunnel. It's one of the largest university-run wind tunnels in the United States. And our students get to uh, do projects associated with the wind tunnel. We also have space at VT and our Hume Center, uh, which are found out at the Corporate Research Center and are associated with our department. We have many uh, faculty who are doing work with both of those organizations. And then we have some faculty and uh, research based out of the Arlington campus in Northern Virginia. Our facilities give students a variety of opportunities. We have both sub and supersonic wind tunnels. We have a water tunnel and a towing tank. Students are able to work with autonomous ground, air, and underwater vehicles. We have a spacecraft simulator, and we have an active machine shop that supports the research and teaching that we do here in the department. So what I'd like to do next is go over the basic curriculum that our students in aerospace and ocean engineering do over their um, time at Virginia Tech. As you've probably already heard, all students in the College of Engineering at Virginia Tech begin as general engineering students. And so this 
set of courses that you see here is going to be very similar for students who end up going into any engineering major at the university. This first year, the focus is on foundational math, science, and engineering coursework. This is a great time for students to take pathway courses that they need for their general education requirements. And it gives students the opportunity to explore a little bit and see what the College of Engineering has to offer. Now, at the end of their first year in the College of Engineering, students apply to enter a specific degree granting engineering major. And that's where you can apply to enter aerospace engineering or ocean engineering. Here I'm going to take a little bit of time to go over our aerospace engineering curriculum and then to show you and go over our ocean engineering curriculum. So during sophomore year in aerospace engineering, students continue to uh, take courses that will be foundational to their development as aerospace engineers. They take the introduction to aerospace engineering course. They also take uh, electronics and computational methods, and they continue in their study of uh, more advanced math and physics. Um, during the first semester sophomore year, students take statics and structures, which looks like looks at uh, statics and also the mechanics of deformable bodies. This then leads into courses such as dynamics and thin walled structures during their second semester. In junior year, students continue to uh, specialize further in aerospace engineering. The dynamics that you take as a sophomore leads to more specific dynamic courses such as fluid dynamics and system dynamics taken during junior year. The thin walled structures that you looked at in sophomore year is now going to lead into aerospace structures during junior year. And then in spring of junior year, students specialize even further. It is spring of this third year where students would select to either focus on air vehicles or on space vehicles. And so they take a dynamics course that focuses on their area of specialization. This is an important choice because it leads into the senior design sequence that our aerospace students will take part in. During senior year, one of our special uh, projects that students take part in is their senior design sequence, which is a two semester long fall spring, spring sequence of either air vehicle design or space vehicle design. So it's a design course also associated with an experiments course. Students work in teams to design, uh, to do some type of project involved with either air or space vehicle design. And one really neat thing during this senior year is that our students have access to a state of the art uh, AOE Studio for Design Innovation, the ASDI. This studio is set up to have lots of space for groups to meet and work. We're set up for video conferencing, uh, 3D printing. There's lots of good uh, space for, for student groups to uh, really be able to dive into their projects and have a comfortable space to work during senior year. Now our ocean engineering curriculum you'll find is very similar, at least it starts out very similar during sophomore year. Both our aerospace majors and our ocean majors take mostly the same courses during sophomore year with the exception of the introductory course. Our ocean students take introduction to ocean engineering. Going into junior year, our ocean engineering students specialize even further, looking at ocean wave mechanics, ocean structures, and then that leads into ocean vehicle dynamics. During senior year, our ocean engineering students also take part in a senior design sequence, uh, in this time ocean vehicle design. So they'll also be gaining use of the ASDI design studio. And here we have a little picture of one of our conference rooms from the ASDI. Now another neat factor and involved with being an aerospace or ocean engineering major here at Virginia Tech is that we have a huge variety of technical electives that we offer our students and each student in the department ends up selecting a technical track to focus on during their junior and senior years in the major that they're 
they're in. Uh, these tracks include things like aerohydrodynamics, dynamics at control and estimation, structures and materials, vehicle and system design. We also have tracks that focus on applications such as naval engineering, space engineering, propulsion, and looking at energy in the environment and how that associates with, with engineering. Here, this gives a little bit of a closer look at some of those different technical electives that are available to students. And this really allows students to specialize a little bit and dive into topics of interest to them. Many of our students end up deciding to do minors along with either their aerospace or ocean engineering major. Some of our students decide to double major in both aerospace and ocean engineering as well. Some popular minors, we have a, there's a math minor that many of our students take part in. Our department hosts the naval engineering minor. Um, several of our students end up minoring in uh, green engineering or physics. Computer science is also popular. So these are all options that students have as part of Virginia Tech. Some of our students choose to take part in the accelerated master's program, which they would enter during their senior year here in the department, and then they can finish their graduate degree afterwards. Now next, I'd like to dive a little bit into the extracurricular activities that are available to aerospace and ocean engineering students. We're really excited about all of the ways that our students have to get involved here in the department. We have several student organizations, AIAA for our aerospace students, we have SNAMI for our uh, ocean engineering students, we have a variety of ways that students can be involved in the field. Um, we also have the Society of Flight Test Engineers, the Society of Women in Aviation and Space Exploration, and of course we have our active AOE ambassador group that helps to promote our department uh, to prospective students. And you'll get a chance to chat with some of our AOE ambassadors after this presentation. One really cool thing about being an engineer here at Virginia Tech is getting to take part in engineering design teams. And there are many design teams that our aerospace and ocean engineering students take part in uh, and really get to be heavily involved with. For example, we have many students who are involved in design build fly uh, and human powered submarine. These are both uh, design teams that are closely associated with the department. There's also rocketry teams, uh, the sailbot team, and, and various others. This is a great way to get hands-on engineering experience. Um, these teams take their, uh, the vehicles they've designed onto competitions. It gives students leadership opportunities. It's just a great way to be involved. And this is something um, that students in any engineering discipline here at Virginia Tech can get involved with, but it's definitely very popular among our AOE students. Uh, we have some great space for our engineering design teams. The Wear Lab uh, hosts some of our design teams. For example, our um, human-powered sub-team. We also have some new design space for these student design teams going in at the Blacksburg Industrial Park. So we're really excited about the facilities that we have to offer these student teams and the opportunities that, that students have here. Many of our students get involved in undergraduate research. We're lucky to have a faculty that's very enthusiastic about working with undergrads. Uh, typically about 100 projects per year are completed for credit by undergrads here in the department. Um, students are getting involved with research out at Space at VT, research associated with the Hume Center, the Wind Tunnel. Uh, this is a great way to get uh, technical elective credit. It's also just a great way to get real, real world, ex world experience. So there's lots of opportunity if you're interested in research. We also are happy to have a uh, unique study abroad program. Every year several of our students participate in a study abroad experience in Hamburg, Germany. Uh, this is a spring semester program and it allows students to receive technical elective credit that will go towards their um, aerospace degree. This is primarily an aerospace uh, study abroad program. One of the coolest things about this program is that the university over in Hamburg is very closely associated with Airbus. So our students who 
go and take part in this program get some real hands-on experience working with Airbus aircraft. Um, and so we, we're really excited about this program. Courses are taught in English. Students can have an international experience while still getting to per take uh, aerospace courses in English. So I want to talk a little bit about career advising. Uh, in the advising office at Virginia Tech, Brian and I both work with students uh, on some career advising as well. But we also here at Virginia Tech have a wonderful career and professional development office where our students can get support. One thing that I think is wonderful about the Aerospace and Ocean Engineering Department is that there are many career fairs for our students to take part in. We actually host our own career fair here in AOE. It's the Aerospace Defense and Intelligence Career Fair. This happens in the fall and it's a great way for students to make connections with the defense and intelligence uh, community. Um, and to hopefully find internship, co-op, and postgraduate uh, opportunities. Students also take part in the Engineering Expo. Um, we also have Lockheed Martin Day here at Virginia Tech, and many of our students are recruited by them. So there are lots of companies looking to hire Virginia Tech aerospace and ocean engineers. These are great fields, uh, and, and there are definitely companies interested in um, hiring our students. We really, really encourage students to take part in internships um, and co-ops. They're highly encouraged. Um, summer internships are very popular. We do have students do fall and spring co-ops. Um, and again, we highly, highly encourage this. Another neat thing is that we have the AOE Alumni Mentoring Program. This is just another way where we are able to connect our undergrads with uh, alumni from our department and, and give them some opportunities to network. So thank you again for watching this presentation today. It's so nice to speak to you. And if you have additional questions, please stay and come to our AOE booth in the, uh, the chat room uh, from 940 to 1140 today. I'll be available there to answer more of your questions along with several student AOE ambassadors. We're looking forward to speaking to you. And um, again, we're really happy to have you part of this event today.